The White House is further ramping up its vaccine distribution one week after increasing the weekly supply given to states by 16%. It's adding another 5% on top of that. CBS's Deborah Alfaron has details, plus the latest on President Biden's nearly $2 trillion relief bill. The federal government is shipping out an additional 500,000 coronavirus vaccines nationwide. So for the next three weeks, we will provide a minimum of 10.5 million in total doses per week. White House COVID-19 response coordinator Jeff Zion says they are also sending 1 million doses to 6,500 pharmacies starting next week. Sites are selected based on their ability to reach some of the populations most at risk. 40,000 pharmacies may eventually receive direct shipments. Health experts in Indiana hope it will help reach people that hospitals and mass vaccination sites might not. 90% of Hoosiers live within 10 miles of a pharmacy. It basically cuts out the middleman. The White House is also working with Congress to pass a $1.9 trillion relief bill. President Biden told Senate Democrats that the Republican plan of about $600 billion is inadequate. If we did a package that small, we'd be mired in the COVID crisis for years. Democrats are trying to pass their bill through a process called reconciliation, which wouldn't require any Republican votes. Totally partisan. Minority leader Mitch McConnell used the same tools to pass the Trump tax cuts. They are in the majority in the House and Senate, and uh, life is a series of choices, and they've chosen. Democrats hope to pass a bill by March before the unemployment benefits from the last package run out. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Washington. Among the differences between the two proposals, the president's has more money for school reopenings, larger stimulus checks for more Americans, and more comprehensive unemployment benefits. Republicans say they're concerned about the cost of the bill. Taylor? 